I'm Lewis Kushnick, uh, Professor Emeritus at the University of Manchester, and I received an OBE in the 2008 uh, Honours List. Now, what I'd like to do today is to take you partly on a roller coaster ride. What I find exciting about the study of race relations, if exciting is the right word, is I see both the worst of people and the best of people. In the first case, the horrors that have been committed and still are committed uh, in the name of racial purity, in the name of nationalism, in the name of patriotism, it's quite horrendous. And it shows how people can be manipulated. It shows how people can do absolutely dreadful things. But the exciting thing is to see how human beings can learn from the past, can change behavior, can educate and lead uh, and, and show the path for a better way of being, uh, a way that, uh, a broader definition of humanity that doesn't require us to judge ourselves on the basis of being better than somebody else, either in terms of our gender, or in terms of our race, or in terms of our sexuality, or in terms of wealth, or whatever. And history is, it, it, it gives us hope. Because it seems to me if we, if we, and race relations, this study, it seems to me if we don't have that, then we can become totally demoralized. Because the, the, the evil out there, historically and at the present time, the greed, uh, the maliciousness, if, if that's all we know, then we become incapacitated. But if we know how people have, have, have grown and changed, then I think we can be positive about the future. What broke the system eventually was World War I. It's been very rewarding for me to spend my 40 years of teaching and then another 10 years or more uh, involved in uh, the, the race relations field and in, in setting up the uh, Ahmedic Butler Race Relations Resource Center and teaching race relations at the university, both in the American Studies Department and then the Sociology Department. It's been incredibly rewarding for me and I hope for, for my students because what we have in Manchester as a university and tied in part to Manchester as a city is we have a a center of gravity. We have um, a body of people who are interested in the subject so that we can feed off each other, we can, we can encourage each other, we can learn from each other. So we have people in the history department studying race relations um, in, the, in terms of Britain or in terms of the US or in terms of uh, India uh, or Africa. We have political scientists studying race relations. We have sociologists, we have demographers, we have people in the medical school. Um, and we, and what, what, what's really wonderful about this is that, that you're able to share ideas and, and, and say, oh, I hadn't thought about that. Oh, look, if we work together, we can, we can get this perspective. Can you imagine the decriminalization of homosexuality in the absence of the civil rights movement? When we came to Manchester, my wife and I came to Manchester in 1963, Rush was derelict. It wasn't second-hand shops, it was third and fourth-hand shops. Well, now this is famous all over the world as Curry Mile. The Manchester Chinatown was a very small number of shops and so on. Well, now the most, one of the most vibrant Chinese centers of community and culture and economic activity is in Manchester. Before Roe versus Wade. The breadth of your experience and your knowledge is, will be in terms of your commitment to citizenship and social responsibility, as well as the joy of Manchester, of the stone roses and, and whatever. But also it means you, it'll inform your academic study as well.